Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another lot showcase for The Sims 4. So this time I'm showing off another community lot. This is called the Oasis Spring Park by Idnath. It requires the Get to Work expansion pack and Outdoor Retreat game pack. It has two bathrooms, it's on a 50 by 50 lot, and it is valued at 106,086 simoleons. So uh, yeah, when I saw this on Tumblr, I thought, hey, this looks like it'd be a pretty nifty replacement for the default uh, Desert Bloom Park for Oasis Springs, and it definitely is. It definitely has more uh, going for it than the uh, original. So I'll show you around. So uh, yeah, when you come in, you can uh, see that there's like a playground here and a little uh, a grilling area, and you can play some chess, which is pretty nice. It all looks uh, very natural. The outdoor retreat game pack really helps with the look of this lot, that's for sure. Then uh, you have some of the playground equipment over here. And, uh, okay, there's that for school. It's, uh, over here you can see there's actually the, um, the object to uh, build a rocket ship. So if, uh, if you can't uh, find one, then you can definitely do it yourself and then you can work on the rocket science skill on this community lot. So that is pretty nifty. <laughs> so yeah, now she has a rocket science skill. Um, and then over here you have this very nice little pond area. Definitely uh, nicer than the original version. Go into Tabo so you can see like with the trees and everything. Yeah, it's like it's an own nice little secluded area out of the way from the rest of uh, everything else. And then you actually, uh, actually have some uh, plants that you can harvest here, which is pretty nice. And then over here you have the main attraction, which is kind of like a little cafe on the inside, and then on the outside you have like another patio area. I really love uh, the roofing here with uh, just the fencing. It looks really nice and modern. So I'll go to the first floor here. And here you can see there's a nice uh, little eating area, there's a vending machine from Get to Work, and there's some nice sculptures placed about, and some candles. Then you can sit here and you can like enjoy a nice view of everything else around outside. So that's pretty neat. And then, uh, and then there's just like the kitchen over here. It's very nice and quaint, I love it. I definitely want to have my sims hang out here. Also a nice touch with uh, the uh, mounted fish. Then to go upstairs. And up here there's another washroom and the jukebox and you can also sit over here and enjoy the view. Uh, I'll just turn this around maybe you can just see how it would look like if you're a sim sitting up here. Cynthia's still working on the rocket. Yeah, just a nice view of everything from up here. And... Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to mention that over here you also have the observatory object. So, uh, yeah, because I know this is a hard object to fit on your uh, home lot, so if uh, you can't really fit it anywhere in your Sims homes, then just have this lot and you can come here and use it. So that's very convenient. I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. But uh, yeah, there's quite a bit to this lot. And I definitely like this more than the original Desert Bloom Park that comes with the game. And uh, I already have placed this in my Let's Play save. So that will be like considered the uh, normal uh, Oasis Springs Park from here on forward. So yeah, definitely looking forward to actually uh, playing with it myself a little bit more, and uh, probably on camera as well. So uh, yeah, overall, if uh, you're bored of the uh, default uh, Desert Bloom Park, definitely uh, replace it with this one. It's definitely uh, a fun alternative or just overall replacement, especially since it does use content from Get to Work and Outdoor Retreat, so it's a little bit more up to date. Maybe I'll fast forward this a little bit so you can see how this looks at night too. But uh, yeah, overall definitely uh, highly recommended, uh, highly recommended community lot. 
So as always, I will leave uh, the uh, origin ID of the creator in the video description below. Oh, so you reach level 2 of the rocket science skill. That's cool. And uh, be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe whatever you feel like doing because lets me know that you really like my channel and my videos. I am getting pretty close to 5,000 subscribers, so uh, it would definitely be appreciated if you uh, hit that subscribe button or uh, tell your friends uh, who may uh, like Sims videos uh, or Sonic the Hedgehog or indie games and all that good stuff. I uh, really like this channel, so um, yeah, definitely help spread the word. That would really mean a lot to me. But uh, yeah, it also help uh, you keep up to date more easily the latest stuff from my channel, including lot showcases like this one, uh, my Let's Plays, my discussion videos, and uh, so much more. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day. And thanks for watching. Ooh, someone's using the observatory, I think. And yeah, the slot overall does look pretty nice during the night. And meanwhile, Cynthia's getting super uncomfortable. Oops. Oh, hey, Cassandra Goth was using it.